Henry the Green Engine, Part 5, Henry's Sneeze. One lovely Saturday morning, Henry was puffing along. The sun shone, the fields were green, the birds sang. Henry had plenty of steam in his boiler, and he was feeling happy. I feel so well, I feel so well, he sung. I mean, he, I feel so well, I feel so well, he sang. Trickety truck, trickety truck, hummed his coaches. Henry saw some boys on a bridge. Peep, peep, hello, he whistled cheerfully. Peep, 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 he called the next moment. Oh, 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 for the boys didn't wave, and to take his number, they dropped stones on him instead. They were silly, stupid boys who thought it would be fun to drop stones on they were silly, stupid boys who thought it would be fun to drop stones down his funnel. Some of the stones hit Henry's boiler and spoiled his paint. One hit the fireman on the head as he was shoveling coal, and others broke the carriage windows. It's a shame, it's a shame, hissed Henry. They've broken our glass, they've broken our glass, sobbed the coaches. The driver opened his first aid box, bandaged the fireman's head, and planned what he was going to do. They stopped the train, and the guard asked if any passengers were hurt. No one was hurt, but everyone was cross. They saw the fireman's bumped head and told him what to do for it, and they looked at Henry's paint. Call the police, they shouted angrily. No, said the driver. Leave it to Henry and me. We'll teach those lads a lesson. What will you do? they asked. Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes, they all said. Well then, said the driver, Henry is going to sneeze at them. What? cried all the passengers. The driver laughed. Henry draws air in through his fire and puffs it out with smoke and steam. When, Hen when he puffs hard, the air blows ashes from his fire into his smoke box, and these ashes sometimes prevent him puffing properly. When your nose is blocked, you sometimes sneeze. If Henry's smoke box is blocked... I can make air and steam blow the ashes out through his funnel. We will do it at the bridge and startle those boys. Henry puffed onto the terminus where he had a rest. Then he took the train back. Lots of people were waiting at the station just before the bridge. They wanted to see what would happen. Henry has plenty of ashes, said the driver. Please keep all windows shut till we have passed the bridge. Henry is, Henry is, is, Henry is as excited as we are, aren't you, old fellow? And he patted Henry's boiler. Henry didn't answer. He was feeling stuffed up, but he winked at his driver like this. The guard's flag waved, his whistle blew, and they were off. Soon in the distance, they saw the bridge. There were the boys, and they all had stones. Are you ready, Henry? said his driver. Sneeze hard when I tell you. Now, he said, and turned the handle. Atisha, Atisha, Atishu! Smoke and steam and ashes spouted from his funnel. They went all over the bridge and all over the boys, who ran away as black as soot. Well done, Henry, laughed his driver. They won't drop stones on engines again. Your coat is all black, but we'll rub you down and paint your scratches, and you'll be as good as new tomorrow. Henry has never again sneezed under a bridge. The fat controller doesn't like it. 
His smoke box is always cleaned in the yard. Yard why in his smoke box is always cleaned in the yard while he is rest while he is resting. He his smoke box is always cleaned in the yard while he is in the yard while he is resting. He has now gone under under more bridges that he can count. But from that day to this, there have been no more boys with stones. The end.